can't stand intros. Hey everyone, I hope you're having a super fantastic day wherever you might be. Slip joints. Centering. That's right. Yeah, two videos ago, I showed you my method on how to center these things. And, um... Uh, Most of you seem to like it, which is kind of good. Right? Kind of good. In the video before this one, I took the Ranger Wood 55 out into the woods on a 128 kilometer cycle ride into my little spot out in the woods. It was quite adventurous, I would have to say. I seem to have lost the uh, screwdriver. Must be around here somewhere. And of course I cut my finger in that video as well. But anyway, this video is how I, I, do basic, basic, basic care and maintenance of slip joints. This video is not about taking apart some of the uh, tactical type knives. That's more an advanced type of video. We'll leave that one alone for now. This video is directed at someone who's just coming into the hobby and perhaps that centering video and this video will be useful uh, to you as you enter this absolutely amazing hobby that we all love. Uh, okay, so some of the things that I always keep in on hand, <clears throat> you can get anywhere. Sharpening, that's a different video again altogether, but I just keep the sharp maker nearby. This is from Spyderco. You guys have all seen this stuff before. I don't even want to talk about that. Three in one, you can get that pretty much anywhere. There's so many different types of lubes out there when it comes to knives, but this one you can get anywhere and it's cheap. So again, this is basic, basic, basic knife maintenance. Toothpicks, pick your flavor, Q-tips. Uh, these are little uh, claws. I think they're used to clean um, firearms and stuff like that. But this could be tissue paper as well. It doesn't have to be this stuff. A good rag, something soft, something that's not going to scratch. Uh, there are some rags that likes to scratch. When you pull across the blade, they leave fine marks. So something fine is the way to go. Things like WD-40 are optional, but uh, I'll walk you through it. This is a good Sunday morning type of thing to do. I think this is why I'll put this video up on a Sunday morning, hopefully. Okay, so here's the slip joint. Uh, what I did was I opened it all up. I did this yesterday morning. I probably should have filmed it, but okay, so... <clears throat> You can basically see how much schmutz I picked up along the way. And uh, it's just that easy. You're going into every nook and cranny, everything you can possibly get. If you want to put a, a little dollop of uh, WD on that, you could. You could also use some of that oil down there as well. But you're just going around the inside and cleaning up all the schmutz. Now this applies to all of these knives. <clears throat> so, you might be saying, well, the Q-tip is kind of big and round, and it doesn't fit. Well, that may be the case. Just take a pair of pliers and flatten them out. And when it's wet, it'll flatten out really nice until you get a nice shape. And that'll fit into pretty much anything that you want to do. And by the way, when you cycle your bicycle 128 kilometers on the highway, you wouldn't believe some of the things you find. I know I added to the weight. Oh boy. But anyway, I digress. Okay, so Q-tips. So you clean out the inside. It's all good. The blades. Just a little bit of this 
hand sanitizer on your finger. And I'm gonna go through it on, on that Victorian Ox here in a second. One drop of three in one, that's after you've cleaned everything out. Just one drop. You can hold even a half a drop. And then you're working everything in and you're always cleaning because you're gonna get that excess out. So let's pick one here, let's pick the spade blade. And we should see that there is no oil lingering around in this area anymore. Because after a while, as I'm working on the knife, and I'm, I'm always removing that excess. So basically, we've got oil inside between the blade and the frame, and it's functioning extremely well. It's very smooth. I wish you could feel how smooth that is. Not a big snap on that uh, particular blade, but whatever. Okay, basic stuff. You can pretty much pick this all up at a corner store or grocery store, I'm thinking. Okay, so let's look at this ranger wood here. Ah, uh, this blade. Got to be careful of this blade. Um, I will say that I put in a little sharpening choil here. You see how it kind of comes? And uh, anyway, I found it to be very... Yeah, there, that's a better shot there. So that serves me quite well, actually. But anyway, it's nice and clean now. It was covered in sap. I'll, I'll run some clips of me batoning somewhere along the line. But yeah, it was filthy. Okay, so let's just try some of that there hand sanitizer. I can't stand this stuff. Let's put this on there. What, see how much I used? I only used like a one drop or whatever you call that. One squirt, one minor squirt. And you can feel it all coming off, all that sap. And I'll put just a little bit more, only because And it should remove all that sap that was on there. I think it's better off going this way with these teeth because they like to grab that cloth. See a little bit right on the tip. So uh, this stuff really does work extremely well when it comes to removing sap off of blades. So while we're at it, let's uh, open this one up, being extremely careful. I've never been so paranoid of a knife than this one. Okay, so get a lot of comments saying oh you I'm surprised you didn't cut yourself it's it's part of the angle of the camera <clears throat> and part of it is uh, it is dicey doing this behind the camera let's grab a fresh one and uh, just kind of go through it you can see that there's some janky stuff going on down there I'm not sure what that is. And there is a lot of areas to clean in here. I'm not gonna go through it in detail. I'll just show you how I do it. And yeah, I spend the time with the pliers and make them so that they fit down inside those nooks and crannies. Put a little bit of oil on there. That's basically what I do and go through and clean as much as I possibly can on these kind of angles here, in these areas here, same thing. Just 
just kind of pinch that Q-tip so that it fits, or sometimes the Q-tip, or sorry, the uh, toothpick, it works better in certain areas. And that's pretty much it. I don't want to take any chances here. I'm going to close this carefully. There, safe. Ooh. Hopefully, that will inspire somebody out there who is just getting into this hobby. Try to keep this a very short video. I'll put the link of uh, the Ranger Wood in the Woods right down here. And I'll put the blade centering of traditional folding knives down here. And I'll put the subscribe right in the middle. Like, share, and subscribe. I don't know. Whatever. Like, share, and subscribe. I don't know. Whatever. Like, share, and subscribe. I don't know. Whatever.